All right, guys. Happy Saturday. It is, what is it, January 13th. So great to have you guys here. This is our New Life Business Roadmap Success Time, where we talk about how to get a new distributor started, what they need to do. This is where you want to plug your new people into as you're bringing in new people. We've had a really exciting week this week. On the 11th, we launched TriMLT. We had an incredible launch event. Uh, Paul and Teresa and Jocelyn, who's not here, you guys were phenomenal on that panel. It was so much fun to watch you guys. We all knew you were in Utah recording uh, a couple of months ago or a month ago or whatever that was. And it was so great to see you guys and, and share your knowledge. Teresa, you were fantastic just bringing your whole fitness experience into everything and and why we want to be incorporating the tri-MLT and the MLT into our fitness routines, our plans for the new year. We know that everybody is in their resolution time right now. And it was so exciting to see you guys and see Sean as well with you guys. So that was awesome. We've had a really exciting time. We're going into a new time of our roadmap. Things are going to look a little different. They'll probably evolve over time as we go on with this too, but we gave it a little bit of a different look and we want to celebrate all of you guys. So again, if you're a distributor here, make sure you show up. This is this is time to show up for your team, for your new distributors, for yourself, for your business, right? This is a this is a scheduled business meeting that we all have together. There's always different information that comes out on these calls. And I am just so proud and happy that so many of you stepped up to say that you want to be involved in this call today. I could cry, but it's probably because I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> but I'm really excited that we have different voices coming on uh, that are going to be sharing and and just it's it's awesome and that's what we want to have so if you're here today and you're watching or you're observing over time and you're like hey I want to step up I want to take that slide I want to jump in and talk or I have something a way that I think we could improve this we're always open to improvements as well so this is designed again for the new distributors to get on track but it's also so that you as a distributor know what to do how to plug in how to plug your new people in you never feel lost or like you don't know how to show somebody the way. So we're gonna start with our slides here. I'm gonna get these up. All right, can you guys see this? Are we good? All right, so this is our business success roadmap. This is where you can plug in as a new distributor or if you're coming here and you're like, you know what, it's 2024, I want to get plugged in. I see what's happening. I see these new products coming out, the Somanite, the Tri-MLT. Oh my gosh, people are having results. Countries are exploding. Things are happening. I want to be plugged in. Plug in here. This is really, you need to decide what step you're at. We're going to share with you five steps. Uh, our simple five-step system, one through five, and it's very easy. We make this simple so that you know what to do, but decide where you're at right now. And maybe you're you're going to be at step four, or maybe you're at step five, or maybe your people are at step four or five and really reach down and help them to go through everything. We got some more people coming in here. So the first thing we do on Saturday- I'll, I'll is handle that. You just keep going. What's that? Okay. First thing we do on Saturdays is recognition. So the first thing we want to do is welcome our new distributors. We've got Tamara Brady, we've got Dale Main, we've got Marco DeSanto. Welcome, guys, to our family. I know Marco was going to try to be on, and I'm going to get him the recording. But it's so great to have you guys joining with us, being here, saying 2024 is your year. It's your year with New You Life. You've seen what we all saw. All of us made a decision, said a yes. We said, okay, this is something I can do. I can make some money here. I want to share these can products. I have, I have a passion for it. We yeah, want girl. you to be involved and we're so yeah. happy that you're here with us. We want to also celebrate our team members with new distributors. We've got Anna Chandler, Donna Stelter, myself, Sang Lentz, Jeannie Kim, Leon Watkins, Warren, Hol Warren Holdings, LLC, Sheila Ellett, congratulations, Amanda Shermer. And then we've got Korea and Davici. Now, Korea, as the country as a whole, Paul sent me the report. There's zero chance I can type all of those names, not only because of the amount of them, I have no idea where on my keyboard I would even find those kind of, <laughs> how I would even type those. So that is amazing. And Davici, you guys are exploding as well. And you've got many, many recruits. And we're so proud of having that team be a part of what we're doing here. And we want to congratulate you on your explosive growth as well. 
Then we've got team members with new customers. Now, again, we launched with a new product this week. It's been a fast and furious week. I'm sure all of you have been on the phone with people, sharing with people. We've seen you on social media. You're sharing the results, the testimonies. We've got Paul who we're waiting on for your testimonies so that we can share that as well. <laughs> Paul looks great. So we've got Donna Stelter, Juliana Dennis, Nancy Billingsley, CS Performance and Health, Duncanson Inc., Katrina Allen, Loving HGH LLC. I love that name. Laura Lynn Carter, Vitality Functional Medicine, Shannon Leish, Amy Bradford, Tracy Hanks. We've got Harmony Wellness, Pittsburgh Aerial Silks, Christopher Taloa, Romancing the Divine, Darla Jabin, Cheryl Bell, Abby Hogan, Debbie Reason, Balance Fitness Training, Dustin Christman, Jureti Zubinas, and DMR Coaching. Congratulations, guys on sharing the products. This is the core of what we do. You're making your retail commissions, you're getting paid for sharing, but the biggest thing is you're getting these products in people's hands. And we know that these products are changing lives. We hear it every single day. So congratulations on sharing this with everyone. And then we wanna celebrate our Brookie. <laughs> Whether it's sideline, whatever, Brooke, congratulations on getting to coach. All of us love you here. And we see your commitment every single day to the women, to the men, to this company, to sharing, to showing up every single time on every single call. I love talking with you, getting to know you more. And I'm just so proud of you for hitting coach. That's just such a amazing Brooke, achievement. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Brooke, congratulations. Couldn't be more proud. Couldn't be more happy for you. Keep going. Don't stop. It's just the beginning. Life coach is pretty much get into momentum. You get right to life coach. So just don't even stop. I want you to think at least 10,000 points beyond life coach right now. Set that in your mind. Manifest that you're going to blow past life coach and make your way to ambassador. It's really, really, it, believe it or not, it gets easier from here. Yeah, come on, everybody on mute. Let's hear it for Brooke. Yes. yes. Congratulations, Brooke. Congratulations, Brooke. Congratulations. So well deserved, Brooke. We right, do we embarrass you, you enough? Do we embarrass you more? What could we do to really humiliate you and embarrass <laughs> speech, you more? Speech, 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 speech. Well, you know what? I think hey, Coach. I think she, Coach. Yeah, Coach does warrant a few words. I think Coach warrants a few words. So, um, why don't we hear from you a little bit, Brooke? Tell us how you feel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all caught me off guard. I was like multitasking back here, cooking and things. Um, I just really appreciate the <clears throat> love and support. Um, definitely these, these trainings plugging in, um, you know, learning through, you know, trial and error, listening to all the coaching and training has, you know, it's just instilled a belief in me that, um, I just keep going no matter what. Um, I know I have to look at the bigger picture and um, I don't plan to stop. So, you know, as long as it takes me, I will keep building, keep sharing, um, keep plugging in and working together as a family. So. Congratulations. Thank Love you. it. Your eyes are so forward. You're so forward thinking and your positivity. You're one of the most positive people that I've ever met in my life. And so just that good vibes and what you're doing and the people that you're attracting into your business, that's pulling you forward. So we can't wait to be celebrating you even more. Thank you. I'm an ambassador, that's future awesome. time an ambassador. <laughs> 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 all right, we love you. So we're actually, we got some new voices today. I'm so excited. We got Nancy Billingsley guys, who is gonna take our step one and two. She's going to share with us these easy first two steps on how to get started, what to do. Nancy, if you don't know her, she's just, oh my gosh, she's got, she had my heart from the first time I heard her speak. She's just got a way about her and such a, such a warmth. She's an amazing builder and customer getter. She's just one of those people, watch her, watch her social media, the way she talks, the way she shares with such confidence. So Nancy, go ahead and take, take these next two steps. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. You say the nicest things. <laughs> um, yeah, the most exciting thing is when you get somebody and they say, I want to join. So you go to your back office and you hit enroll distributor 
And with that, um, you get to, you, you look at it, you get to pick your market. Of course, most of ours are, are USA, but uh, as we know that um, so many of uh, people are really getting outside that market and we have new places to ship. So you want to go to your shipping country next. And then um, you, you kind of scroll down a little bit and you pick, help, help them pick. You're basically helping them. Hopefully you're, what I do is if I can, either I do that with them on the phone or I have them go in their computer and then they follow along with me. And then I am either doing it or I'm helping them do it. So there's really, there's really no rule. Everybody just has to do it their own way. And um, so then you pick your starter kit. There's the, uh, used to be just one thing. It used to be just uh, Somaderm. And then you'd have a choice of one, four or eight, which you still do. But then we have so many now that you can add um, virtually all the products um, in different ways. And you can, you can, uh, they have a um, shaping combo now because we have our new Trium LT and you mix that with uh, your pick of the flavor of, uh, of the MLT, or you could do the Somaderm Plus, or you can do the, um, the Soma Night. I recently signed somebody up and he got Somaderm and Somaderm Plus, and I think that that was the, the 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 package of everything. And it was whatever it was. It was um, over eight bottles of of both things. So there's different options and everything. So that's basically it. You kind of help them. You decide what they want, what different things that are working that they're looking towards fixing. You know, it could be weight. It could be brain health, it could be the immune system with the fortress, there's all kinds of things. So that's really basically helping them uh, uh, figure it out and then showing them what to do after that would be to go into their back office. So that's the next thing. So that's it, I think, right? <laughs> awesome, Nancy, great, great job. Can't wait for you to do this again next week. Thank um, you. And I like the idea of picking the country and everything. I think going into that depth shipping country, because what you could also do is you could have a different billing address and shipping address. So there's a couple of tricks we're going to teach this year um, that some of us leaders use that you guys can use to kind of even extra points up. Like if you're going to place an order and you think someone you downline can use a couple of extra points, you could place that order, give credit to that person down below, help them get to rank, and you're going to see the points come up, throw you anyway. So the bigger you get, especially like now with um, uh, Brooke being coach and everything, some of these, some of these trainings are going to make more sense because you could help those people out and get your next people to the next rank. I want to talk about picking your package. So there's something coming, which is called build a pack. So let me tell you some of the limitations of some of the packs that you see now that, you know, it may not be perfect for someone. And the way I tell people to enroll people with their packs is tell them, look, you want to look at it two ways. If they're coming in as a distributor, that means you should have talked to them about building the business. And when you talk to them about building the business, they should have two things in mind, what they're going to do with the business and how they're going to get their first two. That's really something that needs to be decided at the same time they're building their pack. They should also be telling you who the first two they think are going to bring in. And they may have to give you five names or six names. But if they don't have five or six names before they pick their pack, you're going to see somebody just hold. We're doing something new in the Philippines right now that we're almost not letting anyone enroll until they have their first two ready to go. Now, you may think that holds up your business, but what it's doing is it's letting people know that there's some, some requirements if they want to be successful. Otherwise, just enroll them as a customer and translate them over to a distributor later on. What good is somebody who comes in and doesn't go promoter within 24 to 48 hours or even a week or two? I get it. But if you're not guiding them and setting the pace, so here's how you pick a pack. You decide what you want as a distributor first. What are their ailments? What is their concerns? What are they worried about? And then what do they think their target audience wants? And that's how you build a pack, right? They're going to get maybe, let's say, Somaderm, which everybody should be on. I don't know how good TriMLT would have worked for me if I wasn't on Somaderm. I don't know. I, I, I'll never know. We're going to get some new reports into people that are just doing TriMLT. But if they have limited results on TriMLT, guess what? We talked about Synergy last night. Ellie was talking about how the products work together. So I'm going to go a little negative right now. One of the problems without building your pack is this. Now, I had somebody join the other day where they came in with TriMLT and a Somaderm, and then they wanted Somanite. 
there's no combination pack for that. So now they have to do that as an order. So that doesn't increase my FOB bonus, right? So if we build a pack, yes, you're going to get commissions on that other transaction on that Soma night. But if it goes into a pack, there could be an additional discount to your new distributor or customer, and there could be a greater FOB bonus for you. So with building a pack and you can go in and take one of these, one of those, and it calculates it and creates a pack is going to be a very, very, very exciting thing. Okay. It's going to help you increase your sales. It's going to help you increase your FOB bonus, but it's also going to make sure that you got the right pieces for the right person. So any combination would work. That's why this is so important and we've been fighting for it to get the ability to build a pack. It's a lot of programming. It's a lot of computer stuff. There's all these calculations that have to go on, but I think it's going to really explode your business in 2024. Okay, I'll give it back to you. I can go on and on forever about that because you don't know how big it is. Trust me. I love that. And right now, guys, uh, for those of you who have just joined or those of you who are tuning in, our FOB double bonus right now, if you didn't receive the email from the company about this new announcement on these packs, you're earning a double bonus. So on a $199 where you would usually earn $20, you're going to earn $40. A $599 where you would earn $60, you're earning $120. The eight pack where you're earning $120, you're now earning $240. So that's a huge bonus. That goes all the way until February 29th. So if you're new here, this is why you really want to start sharing now. Don't hold back. Get yourself your first two people. Keep on helping them get new people. But these packages and the fact that we now have the tri-MLT packages, I love, Paul, like you said, having a tri-MLT with the Somaderm pack, that is so perfect. It's priced so perfectly as well where somebody can come in and really get started on our, our two key products that are going to get them results. Danny, I would love to hear from you. I know I'm kind of throwing you on the spot, but when we talk about the $59, when we talk about the year membership, the starter kit, the personal website, everything they get for those $59, I'd love to hear from you. Danny's a 28 year veteran. <clears throat> you guys on in your life. He came here. He's made it at his home. He's building, he's going, he's working every single day. He doesn't sleep. <laughs> so I'd love to hear from you, the value in the 59. Yeah, that's a, a good point because I, I think we we overlook that when we talk to our new business partners. Uh, we, you know, because if you, if you tell somebody it's $199 to get started in a minimum, they look at that and go, well, that's a, that's a high price for one bottle of, of the gel. Um, I explain to everybody what they're getting for the $59. And, and, and I could be wrong, Paul, you can uh, correct me if I'm not, if I am wrong. Uh, but the $59 basically... From what I understand in the industry, what I've been taught is it helps. It keeps us legal in the business as far as to decide dividing business builders and customers, uh, because you have to have some type of enrollment business enrollment fee uh, to be legal uh, in the industry. So I talk about that. I talk about what they're going to get. Um, you know, the personal website is very important. Let them know uh, that, you know, because what I do when I talk to somebody, I send them a video, then I send them my website and they can go through and see everything. Uh, because maybe I'm sending them a video on the Somaderm, but maybe they want to look at the skincare, which I have somebody right now that's wanting to sign up, but there's no packs for the skincare. So uh, that way they can go through and see what, what we have. And then the resource access, again, you know, that, that app that we have is one of the biggest values inside this um, starter kit here uh, is that you get to have all the videos uh, and you know I recommend if you haven't gone through all the videos everything that's in there take an hour of your day if you can and just go through everything and you can also upload it, other videos that you want to send out to them the back office this is one of the most intense back offices that I've seen in 28 years because it has so much uh, in it that I'm still trying to figure it out where everything's at and what everything's for. And then the last one is included in that is their leadership training and support uh, that they're going to get, um, you know, obviously all the calls that we do. Uh, but again, I think the biggest thing is, is that when you sh talk to them about building their pack, it's very important that you, you focus in on what they're getting for that $59. Um, that's it. Back to you. Love it. Thank you. Now I get to pass it over to our beautiful Lynn Laporte, 
who uh, I love hearing from really her cool. knowledge and expertise also just shines through in her career in her passion for the products and the company. So Lynn, if you wouldn't mind going through step three of what, what after they've signed up, they've got their pack, what is the next thing to do? Thank you so much, Angel. And step three is very important. You want to set up your auto ship and you want to uh, coach your team to do the same. And to do that, you're going to log into your back office. You're going to go to the order tab. And as you can see on the screen, you can scroll all the way down where it's highlighted blue, click on that and follow the steps. You can also access this from your tiles. If you look over to the left of the screen, it's, uh, it says manage my subscriptions in parentheses auto ship. That tab there, I live there. Because once you set your auto ship up, if you need to change your credit card, if you want to change the products in your auto ship, if you want to set up another auto ship, you can easily manage it in that tab. Or you can come over to the order tab, go to the blue and go there. I love how we have the ability to navigate our business our back office from a couple of different ways because everybody likes doing things a little different or finds it simpler or quicker. One thing I would like to mention, when you go into manage your subscriptions or manage auto ship, you're going to notice that your yearly fee, the one that Danny just talked about, that's going to be in there by itself. Now, if you ever ha want to change or update your credit card, let's just say your, your account got hacked and you needed to change your credit card or your debit card or your credit card, rather. Um, you want to make sure that you update that $59 auto ship as well. You do have some wiggle room when your anniversary date comes, but we don't want to think about it. We want to set it. We want to forget it. We want to let it do, it do its thing so we don't have any interruptions in our business. And we always want to remain active for commissions. So it is really important. Um, and to stay active for commissions, you there's several different combinations and ways you can do it. An easy way is if you're on the gel. It's 140 personal qualifying points. That that makes you active. So I hope this information, the way I described it, helped. Don't hesitate to uh, reach out to your sideline, your upline, your partners in this business if you have any trouble navigating this. But it really is a simple system. Over to you, Angel. Lynn, thank you so much. I love the way you describe that. And you describe it in a way where you're bringing your personal experience and in your personal expertise in this company. So thank you so much. Danny also texted me and made a comment, guys, you can actually set up your auto ship in your actual, when you're, when you're building your package, you can set that up there as well. But if you didn't make sure this is done, even go in and touch your back office, make sure your auto ship is set up, even if you've done that on the enrollment, right? And I've got to share with you guys. So today, as I was changing a little bit of these slides, I was in our Empowerhouse group um, looking, looking through the files and looking through some of the featured stuff. And a lot of you were on one of the Zooms I was watching back from October of 2022. Can I say you guys have all gotten so much better looking over the last year and a couple of months. It's unreal. I'm like, who are these people? I'm like, like Paul and Lynn and Nancy and Diane and all of you. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even recognize these people. It's insane. So if you ever have a chance, go back into the group and <laughs> take a look at it. I had to say that because it was just eye-opening this morning to to see what the products are doing and how they're changing you guys and how you're looking younger. So that's just an extra added bonus. So if you're here now, you're at step four. So if you're a new person, you're watching this live, you're with us right now, or you're watching the recording, chances are if you're already a distributor, you've already completed steps one through three, at least one and two, and make sure you go and complete three. So congratulations, you're at step four. Maybe you're an existing distributor 
and you're not yet a promoter. You've come in, you're sold out with new life. You love the products. So you're using the products. You're on auto ship. You love the effects that you're having, but you haven't yet got to promoter. We want to get you to promoter. That's your first rank advancement. And it's very simple. It's just getting one person on your left and one person on your right. We are a binary compensation plan. If you haven't taken a look at the compensation plan or understand it, we really encourage you to do so. I, you know, I'm biased, but I swear it's one of the best out there. It pays, the qualifications are simple, understand your compensation plan, but getting to promoter is just finding your first two people. And if you're here or you're existing, who right now could you go to? If it, maybe you have five people, right? That you could go to right now and say, hey, Lynn, I've done this new thing. It's 2024. I'm super excited. I've joined this new company. They've got incredible products for hormone balance. You're one of the first people that I thought of to share this with. So would you come to an opportunity or could I share with you some videos or could I share with you some information? Would you support me? Could you do me a favor and support me in my new business and come and take a look? There's no pressure. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to buy. You don't have to join. But I'd love for you to just come and take a look because you're one of the first people that I thought of to do this with. So of course, Lynn is going to say, absolutely, Angel. I'd love to come and see what you're doing. We support our business, our, our friends' businesses, right? Whether it's a brick and mortar, whether it's a promotion in their company, whether it's starting your own home business, we should be supporting our friends and family and what they're doing in their new endeavors. So who are those five people that you could reach out to? And out of those five, we're sure you're going to find your two and your sponsor is going to help you to do that. Make sure as you're talking to people, feel free to add them to our Empowerhouse Facebook group. Make sure you're in there. If you're not in there yet, make sure to get with the person who brought you here and get in that group. We share tips in there, updates, things that are going on with the company, successes that we're having. We have a chat that goes on where you can ask questions. You know, if you're talking to a prospect or a new customer and they have questions about certain ailments they might have, or you want to make sure the gel is good for them or the Somonite or the Tri-MLT or whatever, you can get into that chat and ask questions. But it's also a great place for new people to be exposed to our community and our culture and what we have going on here and how we support each other. Invite them to the live presentations. You can invite them to this Saturday if you want to. If I was talking to Danny and I was like, hey, Danny, I know you're kind of looking around right now or maybe you're looking for something. I invite you to this Saturday. Just see how I build. See how simple it is, what we're doing. You're not really going to find anything out there like this where it's just simple. It's a simple five-step system and we just try to duplicate that. But come and you know, meet Paul, meet Nancy, meet Donna, meet Peg. Come and, come and meet the people that I work with. We have those, we have Saturday, we have Mondays where we're training. It's going to get a little bit more in depth this year. We're going to have more structured training, more of a different look and feel, going a little bit deeper into mindset, into strategy, into how to actually build this and maximize the compensation plan. So invite them to Mondays because they'll see, okay, on a Monday, I can come and plug into this team and really get motivated and built up and see that there's a hope for my future. And then on Wednesdays, we do, uh, Peg and I do a 1.30 Eastern afternoon call, and then we do a nine o'clock Eastern opportunity call as well. So you can invite wherever they fit in, right? Can you make 1.30 or can you make nine o'clock? Which one is best for you? So share that with them. Use the tools in our app. Danny talked about our app. It is outstanding. You can add stuff in there and make it your own. You get your own personal links. You add your contacts in. If I share it with Paul, I'm going to get a notification as soon as he watches the video. And so I know in 10 minutes, I can follow up with him and say, hey, do you have any questions about the video? How did you like it? What did you feel? All of those things. So you can share PDFs. You can share our new product teasers. You can share a video you liked. You can record this video and put it into your app and say, hey, I just want you to see our strategy session on Saturdays and how we build. There's many different ways you can use that app. It's fantastic. Go ahead, Paul. I also want to tell you that there's going to be some new links to um, NU, what is it? Monday night is NULEmpower.com or EmpowerHour.com? Yeah, NULEmpowerHour.com. Wednesdays are nulopportunity.com and Saturdays are now nulroadmap.com. So you're going to be able to just give that link to people to be able to come right into the Zoom. We're going to lock up the Zoom so we're we're continuous and you're going to see a lot, a lot of new developments this year. A lot yeah. of new developments. 
Absolutely. And those are set oh, and up this now. will all be in the calendar too. all three calls will be in the calendar. There'll be push notifications. So when you enroll somebody, make sure they have a valid email address, because the minute they have a valid email address, they're going to be able to get the push notifications on where all the calls are and things like that. They'll be able to see and access the calendar. It's a good thing to train on. You know, in fact, maybe somebody who really likes using the app, maybe Danny, you plug your phone in, it will give you Zoom access and actually go through the app and go through how you actually build with the app. Um, uh, Peg I, is doing project broadcast. We're trying to limit how much craziness she's doing with that. But if you get those texts from Peg about when the calls are, it's a really good tool. And I think might might want to have Peg do a little bit of training on project broadcast where you could send text to people and broadcast text, right? And if you don't see the value for that, you're not talking to enough people. Because if you, uh, I think Angel, you were telling me about Tanya, uh, who she has over 75,000 or 75 million contacts or whatever, uh, that she has this email list. Whether if you're building people and building phone numbers and collecting phone numbers, are you reaching out to them once a week, once a month? Are you reaching out to them every three days? You know, what's your cycle? What's your what's your marketing plan as far as all of the numbers that you've collected? Or are you just leaving them in your phone and you're going to randomly go to one at a time? You you're building contacts. You're building people. Guys, I was pitched on network marketing for 15 years. I said no. For 15 years straight, no, 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 no. Don't watch videos. Don't call me again, whatever. And I wound up joining up with the guy who chased me for 15 years. He's a personal friend of mine, okay? And then look what happened. So I said no for 15 years. He didn't give up. But you guys are so willing to give up. You know, not realizing that it's the change in their person's life. I mean, I don't want to mention names. I'm talking to probably a very major, major, major player in network marketing on Monday morning. And he's like, let's talk at 930. Let's talk. And I said, I'm not pitching you. You're not pitching me. We got stuff to talk about, you know, et cetera, you know. And, you know, if you have the right posture, I've been texting back and forth with this guy for probably a year Right. And everybody's like, oh, my God, he gave you his phone number. I can't believe that. Usually it's Calendly and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And like, you know, I don't do Calendly if I'm going to talk to somebody one on one, if I'm going to develop a relationship. So the bottom line is it takes time. Let me ask you a question. If one of the top 10 network marketers in the world, right, um, is it worth a two year investment of slowly reaching out and talking? You know, am I sitting here waiting? No. Will something happen? Yeah. Sooner or later, I'll get them. It may take me five years, but I'll get them, right? Because you have to become the person that somebody wants to follow, okay? So go ahead. I'm just trying to give everybody promise and hope. Yeah. But don't give up on people that? ever. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, did you want to say something, Arnell? You're yeah, actually, I wanted to say attraction marketing. Yes. Yes, exactly. And we're going to be teaching a lot more on that as well coming into the new year. Um, Peg is one of the most stellar people on that that we have here. Um, but also, like, how do you present yourself? How are you attracting people? These are the steps you need to be as you're working on your attraction marketing. You have to be actively going out and talking to people and prospecting. That's, 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 you cannot just rely on attraction marketing and think that you don't have to prospect. This is a prospecting business. We both Paul and I and Danny, we all rely heavily on the cold market. Um, we're not a warm market team. We're not a team that's telling you, you know, go, go add. I know Paul, you use the example of your plumber and your construction guy and who's standing on stage with you when you're actually in recognition. It's not your plumber and your construction guy, right? It's somebody that you found that either came to you through attraction marketing or that you prospected and that you talked with and you, and you guys found a common balance and a common way to work together and a solution that you could provide them. So we're going to really be training on that. Yeah, guys, listen, we we talk about make the list, make the list. You show, If there was a, a huge number of high school buddies or high school girlfriends or the person you were in cheerleading with in high school signing up in network marketing, I would believe you. The cold market, be, the minute you say hello to someone, your cold market becomes your warm market, okay? And all of us here are strangers. I went to high school with none of you. None of you are my plumber. None of you worked as the, did the electrical work in my house. None of you did. You're all cold market. And that's really where the future of this business is. And also, here's another thing I believe, okay? And I know we're going long and I'm trying to get off here because I want to go to sleep, but maybe because I'm punch drunk. 
you have a lot of people will tell you, don't show the product, don't advertise the product, don't tell them because they're going to Google it and find it. Okay, to a certain extent, I'm sorry, my, my camera's, I, I got my thing blurred. Um, guys, you can't find this anywhere else. You're going to Google this, there's only one place to find it. Yes, you may lose the sale. So the only thing you have to worry about in attraction marketing and marketing with our products is you losing the sale to someone else on this call. But you can't lose it to another company. You can't lose the sale to Walgreens. You can't lose the sale to Amazon. And that's what everybody's afraid of. So what's happening, I want to shake up the industry a little bit because we're with a company that you can show the, I show Try MLT. Nobody's got it. Nobody's got anything that even comes close. Why is that all blurry? Whoa. So you no got your one back, has background blurry. Yeah, I know. It's just, you know. So how about this? What in front of you? Yesterday, I'm on Dr. Doug's call and the mirror on this armoire is closed and I didn't make my side of the bed, right? So it's all like kind of messed up and everything. I'm like, oh, so now I'm blurring my background. All right, so guys, if you, hold it right you have an opportunity. Doesn't. You have an opportunity here that is somewhat unique. So don't be so, done is better than perfect. So if you do something where they accidentally see the label, it's fine. You have to just worry about them shopping a competing distributor, not a competing company. That's what I want you to keep in mind when you're doing your attraction marketing. Okay, make sure you build your brand first and then they know what you know what you're marketing because it's very, very unique. The stuff is so unique that you're not going to go anywhere else to find it. Try MLT, nothing comes close if you were listening to Ellie last night. There's nothing on the market. I've been taking supplements and pre-workouts and, and pre-steroids and all of this other crap for years. Nothing, nothing comes close. And I thought Soma Night was going to be like the holy shit. So we have holy shit with Soma Dern. We have holy shit with Soma Night. We have holy shit with Tri MLT. And I'm glad we're recording this. Um, it's just real. So pick your poison in a, I mean that in a good way. Pick the thing that's going to make you a millionaire, specialize in it and run with it. Run with it. You know, if it's the anti-aging, go with Somaderm, right? If you're into fitness or you want to get people, listen, how about this? How about somebody just for joint health, try MLT. Listen, I know you're not going to run a marathon. I know you're 370 pounds, but if I got you to 200 pounds, how much better is that for your joints? We're all going to live longer. People on this call are going to live to 90 years old plus. Our Generation Z or whatever is going to live to 100. What does that, what do you want to feel like, look like, and be able to, do you want to be mobile at 100? Do you want to be mobile at least at 90 to be able to just get around? This whole market is changing. This whole reason for this company is really in line with what's happening for, for the longevity that people are seeing. It's the quality of life that we have to start working towards with people, okay? Yes, everyone wants to look good now. Trust me. I want to be able, it's great. I lift weights and all that other stuff. I want to be able to walk, you know, without a walker when I'm 85, you know, if I'm 90, I want to slay, I want to sit there saying, yeah, I don't mind being 90. I don't want to sit there saying, come on, God, please, please. Another I can't take another day of this shit. Right. So you don't want to be that person. That's the future of where we're going with this company. Right. Weight loss is not just about looking slick and having six pack abs. It's about taking the weight off those joints reducing arthritis pain, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm going to title this recording. Holy shit. Look at what we got. Look Holy what we shit. Got. <laughs> Holy shit. Where's the Tylenol? You guys yeah. see uh, uh, Christmas vacation. No, I love it. I love it. And and absolutely, we, we have something that nobody else has. And that's why I think all of us are so excited. Any of us who have come from the network marketing background and know what to look for in a company, that's why we always talk about it on opportunity calls and stuff like that. But it is safe to share what we have. I want to talk about number four, starting five-way conversations. And I really would love to see so many more people implement this. We borrowed this from somebody who was building a clothing apparel company a few years ago. They built it to 20,000 distributors very quickly, and they used this way. We hear about ATM, which is ad tag message into your, you know, into the groups and stuff like that. And that works, but this works. We've used it. It's proven. It's solid. What that means is if I'm talking to somebody who's interested in products or business, I'm going to decide who my three best people are. So if it's products, I might go Lynn, Danielle, Peg, and say, hey, ladies, I'm talking to Danny. He's taking a look at Somoderm, Tri-MLT, whatever. 
Um, can you guys share with him your, your experience on the products? They're all going to jump in. I don't have to say to Danny, this is Lynn's experience. This is Peg's experience. This is Danielle's experience. This is who Danielle is. This is why you should listen to her. She's going to do that herself. And that's building credibility so that I can then say, hey, at the end, once all of them have popped in, hey, Danny, do you have any questions before you're ready to get started on the product or it's business? I'm going to do Paul. I br I'll bring in Arnell. I'll bring in Peg and I'll be like, hey, I have Danny looking at the business guys. Can you share with him your experience here? What you notice is different. And they're going to pop in and say, this is what I've seen. This is my results. This is why you need to be here. I'm going to go back and say, hey, Danny, do you have any questions before you're ready to get started? I haven't had to repeat anything that they said. I'm using them to sell for me. Danny's seeing I have support, and he's also seeing that he can do this too. So he knows that if he has somebody uh, who's interested, like a Lynn, he's going to say, hey, Lynn, here's Angel, Paul, or now. And the, they're going to share with you their experience and then we'll chat afterwards. So and it's a don't overthink it, guys. Don't say, oh my God, yeah. I put Paul in a thing and he didn't respond in five minutes and I'm going to lose the deal. Guys, you can't do the wrong thing no. with the right people and you can never do the right thing with the wrong people. If a deal is that fragile, it's not a deal. If a person is that fragile, they're not a distributor, right? And, or it means you didn't create enough value to them that they feel that they're missing something. Right. Don't coerce people into the business. Don't lie people into the business. Right. Create the excitement that they're calling you back, that they're saying, hey, man, I want to get that going. Uh, uh, and then don't worry so much about who you pick in the group. Right. Well, you got to say, well, I got to get this person for this person. Done is better than perfect. Move forward. If you spend so much time figuring out, like you spend an hour trying to figure out, well, I think Angel would be good for this person because she's in Canada and Lynn, Lynn does kayaking or Lynn Skoda does kayaking, whatever. And Lynn Laporte is into, you know, the horses as well as the, the whole skincare thing. And you're wasting too much time. You should have 30. You should be able to pop through 30 of those in there. How many people remember the whole when we were putting all those people into the uh, testimonial groups back when we first started in 18 to 19? We were piling people and piling people in into those testimonial groups. You got to build your business the same way. Go ahead. I'm sorry. We got to get moving here. I know. We're already at 45 it's minutes. It's my fault. I'm just fired no, no. up. It's, it's good. And you know what? It's 2024, so we have to do this. But also, don't overthink who you ask. Don't be worried that you're going to offend Paul. Oh, I'm not in his direct line or, oh, I don't know if Angel minds being added in or Danny's probably busy. Just add us in. <laughs> That's what we're you here for. Right? How many cross line? I do sometimes more cross line calls in a week than I do for my direct down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So just follow this, use it, have it be, I would say, have this be your number one tool. Definitely the inviting to the calls but have this be like the next best thing, if not tied for that, because this is immediate. You don't have to wait for a presentation and that can lead into a presentation. Hey, Danny, do you have any questions? Well, I still want some more information. Great. We're doing a call on Wednesday. Come over to that. And then you follow up, right? Which we're going to be talking about in the five over five, which is our DMO that Paul's going to be training on uh, coming up here in the call. And it's a very simple system to get your business going. I'm going to pass it over to Donna Stelter now, guys, our pickleball queen, our iron woman queen <laughs> who's out there. She's just kicking butt every single day and going for it. I know she's just racing towards Jamaica right now. So Donna, if you can talk about step five and what that looks like, how simple it is now that they've got to promote her, what are their next steps? Well, I think step five is dance party, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. This energy is amazing. I think we are just all so excited for this new year, this new season. I love this. What a great call this morning. Um, so yes, so step five is just a review of the simple steps that we lead our people through. Um, the more they do it with repetition, it becomes a habit. Just like going to the gym, just like me getting ready for pickleball in the morning, right? I get my drink ready. I What, what skirt am I going to wear? What socks are going to match my skirt? I put my shoes on. We have a system here, simple steps to form habits. And then our people, this is duplicatable. Our people can then follow this simple system. So step one, of course, like Nancy said, we have them join. I love how she said you do it alongside them. Have them log into their computer and you log into your computer and do it with them. So you're not, you're hand holding, but you're also showing them how to eventually, you know, help their team in the future. 
helping them pick their package. I love what Paul said, know your people. What is your community? Like I live in an older community here. I know this Tri MLT is going to be huge here because women are concerned about their eating habits. They're concerned about being overweight. Know your community and the people that you're talking to. Um, and then you can design your package that way. And then you do your auto ship, which is um, step number three. So I signed up a distributor yesterday and he didn't pick his auto ship right away because his wife flies home on Monday and we're gonna figure out what they both want and put that on auto ship. So really building that relationship. Um, you know, when people join us, we want them to feel welcome and nurtured. Just like when somebody joins, a, you know, somebody gets a job, and they go through their training. Well, here we really want people to be successful. We help them build their income. So we take, we're invested in them. And I think we really show them how much we value them joining us. Um, and then step four is getting them to promoter. Um, also going back to what Paul said, it, it makes you a little nervous because you, you want to get your, your distributor in, but what if you just really take some time and have them figure out who are your first two people, and then you bring in that distributor, and then they bring in their two people right away. That was like the golden nugget for today. I love that. Um, and then, of course, we teach them how to share from the apps, getting into all of our groups, getting them into um, Peg's group where she sends out the text messages. Um, into boards where we learn all the scripts. Um, this is a nice, simple, duplicatable system. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to dance. That was perfect. Thank you so much, Donna. I feel the energy. We're all so excited. And duplication. And Donna, I gotta, commend, I gotta commend you because you did, I think, a great, great outline with almost minimal information on that slide. Everything that Donna shared was from her heart and from her head and that learning the business. So that tells you a lot about people, right? She's not just reading off of what that slide is saying. So I want you guys to start recognizing talent when you're talking to people, start recognizing talent when you're interviewing people and start recruiting talent into your business. OK, now that's my nugget for today that I came away with, because there's nothing on that slide that she said. Everything came from her. That's a student of the business. All right. And, you know, that's a that's a thing for me. So. All right. right. Sorry about that. I'll try Here to stop. You go, Donna. We love you. All right. Now I get to pass it over to our Peg Tucker, who you may have heard last night on the call sharing her social Ooh. media wisdom. Who? <laughs> who? Peg Tucker? <laughs> She is an incredible leader here, guys. Uh, been here for four or five years, um, sharing her wisdom, sharing her training, uh, evolving. We use her testimonial on a daily basis because of how beautiful she is. <laughs> she is on these products. And so, Peg, I would love to hear from you to share the steps after you take uh, or after you enroll a new distributor. What should people be doing? Thanks, Angel. I love hearing from every all the new voices today. And Donna, you, Donna, you did such a good job. And, I, and by the way, I love these new slides. They're amazing. So thank you, Angel, um, for that. And so when you when you get someone started, they put their trust in you, right? And you want to like Angel was talking about introducing them to people, five people in a group, right? So once they know who they're working with, it's much more likely that they're going to feel comfortable coming to these calls. We're already establishing that relationship and that community, right? So you want to, as soon as they, as soon as they enroll, you want to show them how to log into their back office. Like Danny said, it is a really robust back office. You want to help them to log in. I think the best way to do that is to do a, a screen share. If you can get on a Zoom with them and tell them how to do a screen share, you've already got them doing something that's in a leadership role, right? They've already over, they're, they're all going to have that sense of accomplishment of if they didn't know how to do a screen share already, they just got that, right? So they can, you, you can walk through the back office, show them where things are in the back office. You also want to show them how to download the app. Um, I think the easiest place to do that is to log into their back office from their phone. You click on it, takes you to the app store, or you can just show them where they go in the app store, get them to download it, get them to log in. It's the same login information as they log into their dash. Um, and then show them how to, how, how to send a text, how to add a contact. The other really cool thing, you know, Ellie mentioned last night 
in our app is, are there are courses when you go to the little graduation cap on the bottom, there are courses in there. There's, I think there's six, there's six courses. So there's a, a course on Soma Derms, uh, cor which has nine lessons. There's a course on MLT that has seven lessons. So a lot of people want to, you know, I want to know the product knowledge. I want to know. That's a really concise place for people to go in. And these are really short videos, but they can come away with some knowledge and, and feel more confident, right? Um, show them how to, how to send a video, how to download a video. They can take a recording like this so they can have it for their person when they get started and put it into their app. Um, you want to get them to mark their calendar. I they can they can text me the word team. They can get on my calendar reminders, but they also want to mark their calendar. It's really really handy as a business person. I use Google Calendar. I've got all our meetings in our in my calendar, so I get reminders on that. Um, you want to make sure they have that, that marked for this training so they can come to it and learn. And all the other calls that we do during the week that have already been talked about. And then you want to schedule a call with them after they get on this, they will have questions. They're going to have a ton of questions, right? And make sure that they know that you're there for them, especially in those first 60 days. I, I think of when you've got someone that, who's just gotten started in their first 60 days, they're really still a prospect, right? You're really still, you're working with them, try, getting bringing them into the business and getting them comfortable. And what just happened? <laughs> I don't know. Jeff Goldstein <laughs> is somehow drawing on our slide. <laughs> oh, that's wild. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea how to stop this. <laughs> so, Jeff, are you signing this? You go this? in a race. You, you got to go up to the thing. You go up to the little marker and you go and hit the eraser button. He must be signing, signing something. Too. Jeff, um, Jeff, we, we, I think you just applied for a mortgage. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. All right. So it's all right. We can, we can, there's yeah, a way whatever. to do it. <laughs> so well, I did that to you on a, an important zoom one time. It was so bad. I was so embarrassed. I had, I just left the zoom. I, I couldn't fix when it. When was this? Uh, months ago, months Who'd ago. Oh, I remember you doing that. That was on the Korea one. Yep. It was on the Korea one. One of the first ones. And I was like, what? And you were pissed off. You started cursing. And I was like, oh my God. And it was you of all people. Yep. It's you. That's so funny. That's funny. <laughs> well, look, I got over it, obviously. I, mean, I don't even remember it, to be honest with you. <laughs> you were like, guys, if we're going to be playing around, we're just going to end this call right now. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Well, guys, uh, I'm going to get back to the. the sorry. Get, getting your getting your person on, on a call. Let, finding out what's important to them. Like how much time do they have to work this business? What do they want out of this business? If, if they, what is their goal? And if they reach that goal, what's it going to mean to their life? Because you want to know that about them, right? Again, they put their trust in you. You want to establish that trust, let them know that you care and help them get to where they want to be in this business, not where you want them to be, right? That's, that's really, right. really something important that I've learned over the years. So back to you, Angel, and thank you again. That is so key, what you just said right now, Pig, knowing what somebody else wants, not what you want for them. And even if there's so many times we see in somebody else that we know they could go to the next level, but right now they're kind of just stuck in that that spot where they just, they want the right now, right? So it's continuing to encourage them, being involved with them, inviting them to the calls. Eventually something's going to click and they'll they'll jump into to who they're supposed to be. But that's kind of who we are is like we're molding people and we're molding them to be able to see the bigger person in themselves too. So thank you so much for that pig. We have a new section here, guys. Miss Don't Diane get Ramon. scared. Don't get scared. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. We've got compliance and Diane Ramondi is going to take over these next couple of si slides and really talk about why we want to be compliant things. You, you should and shouldn't say the way you really need to be sharing the products. We do need to fall in compliance. We want to keep our company safe. We want to keep our products safe. We want to be safe for all distributors. We don't ever want to be flagged or have, you know, uh, Facebook and Instagram and all of those places start to be like, Oh, we're going to start to look at, at these guys closer. So Diane, go ahead. You're such a knowledge uh, uh, for this and, and a wealth of knowledge for the compliance side. So go ahead and share. Uh, thank you, Angel. I wonder why she knows so much about compliance. You know, it makes you wonder, you know what I mean? It's like the thief that knows how to rob a bank. You know, they, they you know, so I'm sorry. Go ahead, Diane. Okay. 
I, the reason why I'm so compliant is because I did get flagged and they suspended my account. And I said, that will never happen to me again. I will learn compliance. So I did. <clears throat> okay. So it, it's very important to be compliant. And I know most of you don't even realize that what you're saying is not compliant. For instance, with the gel, you cannot say, oh, my hair is growing and my natural color is coming back. That's not compliant. You can say, my hair feels nice. I see a change in my hair, but you cannot say it's coming back to its natural color. Now, Soma Night, absolutely. You could say my hair is growing. It feels wonderful. It's getting thick. So you have to go with what the product is, is going for. So Somaderm, you can't say pain. However, Somaderm Plus, you can. So know your products and what the compliance rules are for each product. Um, in the app, there is a whole compliance section. There's eight modules in there. And there's a test at the end. Do that test. Go and watch those modules. They're not long. And they're a wealth of information. And take the test at the end. And then every once in a while, just go back as a refresher. Because it's it's important. This is your business. And you, you want to make sure we stay compliant so that they don't come in and shut us down for not being compliant. Now, Try MLT just came out. We just launched. And we have a whole new compliance for Try MLT. Now, you see the do's and the don'ts, the this versus the that. You can talk about weight loss. You can say, um, I lost so many pounds in the first month. But you can't guarantee that everybody's going to have the same results. So to be compliant, you can say uh, the first month on Try MLT, I noticed my weight has gone down instead of saying exact amount of pounds that you're losing. Then you could talk about, you can talk about the ingredients, but you have to be careful when you speak about the ingredients. Like Try MLT, you can say, supports a healthy hormone balance, instead of saying, makes my hormones like leptin, ghrelin, and PYY better or stronger. That you cannot say. You can say it supports your healthy leptin, ghrelin, and PYY. So it's it's a play on words. But I tell everyone, there we're here to help you. If you want to put up a post and you're not sure, send it to me. I'll look it over. I have no problem with that. And I'll send it back and let you know what's complying, what's not, instead of putting it out there and then getting flagged by corporate. So I'm here to help you. Peg's here to help you. She offered to help. Lynn Laporte offered to help. And of course, Rodney and compliance is there for, for you. Rodney is a dream. He helps everybody and he's punctual. He gets right back to you. So any questions, just contact me. I'm happy to help you. Love excellent. that, Diane. Excellent, yeah. excellent job, Diane. And and uh, uh, Luann, you put in the thing, why do we need compliance? So here's the thing. People sometimes, the two biggest killers of any network marketing company are medical claims. Oh my God, this stuff will cure, cure cancer. And a lot of companies do that. And then there's income claims. Just because I made a million dollars, you know, you can make a million dollars too. Absolutely not. Okay. So when you say things supports, because I don't know what your metabolism, look, I lost zero weight from Somaderm, right? But you guys know I had muscle density, my bone density increased, my blood pressure dropped, uh, my eyelashes grew, my, my, I, my contacts kept going down, I improved my lenses, all of that happened for me, okay? Don't know if any of that will happen for you. 
But not until I did try MLT did weight affect. So there's 40 known benefits of Somaderm. Maybe I got six. That's usually enough. There are people who stay on Somaderm just because of the sleep improvement, right? So you don't know what that's going to happen. So if you start promising things in the hopes of getting a sale, like this woman drove this car only to church on Sundays, right? Which we know is probably not true. That's that. That's really what it's all about because they're constantly looking to make sure that you're not taking advantage of the public. Now, the challenge here is that you guys are not all, you know, super compliance attorneys and all of those things. So it does get a little confusing. So say may, may support, well, you know, this is what it did for me. I, you know, you can see what it does for you. And the best part about it is there's a 60 day money back guarantee. All of our products last for 30 day supply with a 60 day money back guarantee. If you can't figure out that you're not happy a month after you stopped using it, then, you know, I mean, that's, so th there's a couple of ways to handle it that people are going to say, look, I don't know what it's going to do for you, but it's doing something for tens of thousands of people all over the world. You know, you may want your gray hair to go. This patch right here, I got, I know people that it, it did go away for. Nothing, nothing that will budge this thing other than Grecian formula or something like that. So, you know, which I can't, I I, I won't dye my hair. Maybe later on, yeah. but I won't dye my hair. And, and my hair is not growing, so. And your hair is not growing work. at all. Yeah, it's, grow, it's going inversely. All right, let's, let's, let's keep. Let's keep Lu moving because we're, we're already at three minutes over. One other thing, Paul, Luann, if you want to know exactly why we have to have compliance, go to module two in the in the app and it will explain why we have compliance. All right, cool. And that's another thing, guys. Don't ask. A, I'm not saying you, Luann. I'm just using you as a point. There's so much data that none of you have ever seen. So, so if you expect your downline to be able to be self-sufficient, guys, if I had to answer every question for 90,000 people, I would never sleep. I, it would be physically impossible. So teach people where to find the information because then it's going to make your journey as a leader that much easier, right? The more educated and the more self-sufficient your downline is, the more successful they're going to be and ultimately the more successful you're going to be. I love Can that. I add something to that, Paul? Yeah, sure. I like that. I like that in this group, you really emphasize that because I feel, and I'm going to really come from the heart in this because I really feel that as leaders, it is our responsibility to, I, I want to say in the beginning to hold their hands and to kind of guide them through all the, the abundance of information. Because I know it's me coming in and I, and I feel that like a lot of us who come in new would want that and expect that, unfortunately. Right. Expect that from the people who bring us in. And <clears throat> I just feel that sometimes a lot of leaders I see will just throw you and say, hey, all the information is on the app without checking in on you or saying, hey, you know, if you need help, you know, let me let me know and I will, you know, guide you through this this transition because I want you to be successful. I know, so I really, I like whole, that. In this. It's, the, it's the whole purpose of this call to give people the information where to look. And yes, people may have trouble in loading the app and we'll teach them how to load the app. And once you've done that, now there will be people who are always going to require assistance or need assistance, okay? And that's a personality issue. It's not really a leadership issue, but you'll see they coincide with a self-starter versus someone who's looking for hand-holding. They're both valuable to you as a distributor and as a customer. Um, but I will tell you, that's why I say be selfish until life coach, meaning focus on your team and your immediate personals, be selfish until life coach, because then you could start taking on the social work pro projects, the people who are suffering, the people who have emotional issues, you know, all of that stuff. We tend to do that too early in this business and it prevents us from, you know, they tell you on an airplane, you know, when, if the, if you should lose cabin pressure and oxygen mask will drop from the ceiling, you know, support, you know, put your ma mask on, you know, before you help someone else to put their mask on why because if you can't breathe you can't help them to breathe so the same thing holds true here you know that you want to really you know get your stuff together know it and then pass it on another thing is you want your people to be more successful than you you want your people to speak you want your people to have a voice you want some if you suppress your downline you'll never build a network marketing business OK, you have to constantly push them up, push them to the front, let them speak, let them share. Right. 
because you're looking to grow leaders. Leaders grow leaders. Dictators suppress. So, so the, the and, and you'll see when people, you know, people want to see, oh my God, I joined and I, I got into this company and I'm making as much as the, the guy that brought me in or I'm the, all of that stuff is very, very critical to building this business properly, right? I'd rather have 30 people, 30 of my personals all making what I make or more because I make 15% of that, right? So you don't want to have that. It's not about ego. Put your ego in your wallet and put your ego in your heart. Right, that you really want to help those people, you know, be be proud. I mean, look, we're all, um, you know, celebrating Brooke today. I mean, it's just, you know, we everybody. That's how you should feel. You should feel that way, regardless of where they are. Just, just have that that overwhelming feeling of support, okay? And trust me, it will pay you back in your business. Go ahead, John. You're not going to let us finish the last slide, so I can go to bed. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I just wanted to bring in something. You know, when people talk about FOMO, fear of missing out. When Jocelyn talked about this to me back in March of 2021, it was probably late February, but I joined March 6. Okay. This is a binary system because of Jocelyn and who she positioned under me in this binary system. I have one of my legs that is so big that if I was to match it with my right leg, I we're not really supposed to talk about income, but this is what I have. I don't have to work so hard to do both legs. I'm working more and more towards the the weaker leg. And that's another training that, that Paul does sometimes is how we work this binary system. It's thousands and thousands. It's five figures every week, everybody who's new on here. It's that easy. Get in early. And even if you're slow boating to China, it just builds up and builds up and builds up. That's all I wanted to say. FOMO, yeah, even a slow, get look, in. If you stick with this long enough, you're going to stumble across somebody. I'm telling you, you'll stumble across somebody and it will happen. There's no quitting in this business. you got to manage your own expectation of how long you're going to take. If you feel, oh, my God, this is such a struggle. Really? It's such a struggle? It's not such a struggle. You should be doing 15. If you're not, um, if you're below coordinator and you, you, you should be doing 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes at night. If not, you're not working effectively. You're just not. And then you add time as it goes. Most of you are not doing step one and step two, what we're going to talk about next, right? Is it next? Am I up next, Angel? It is. It is. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, I, why I, don't we go to that? Because I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm going to kind of bring it to what we're going to say. Yeah, Angel, you got your hands folded. Means shut up, Paul. True. That is true. <laughs> Diane, thank you so much for your compliance. Uh, and what I what really sticks out to me with that is may the word may use that in your in your communications, use that in your social media, it may do this. This is what I'm experiencing. It may do this for you. So just really keep that in your mind. Never say it will it 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 it, it is doing this any of that. Diane, are you using Somanite right now? Yes, I am. I can tell you look amazing. I can see it in your face. Peg and I were talking about jaw lines and how like we're seeing more definition. I can see it in your hair and I can see it in your face. You look beautiful. Yes, my hair is growing. I mean, <laughs> I lost a lot of hair when I was yeah. older, transitioned. And the first month I, I was shocked to see all the hair growth that I had. But I, I want to add one more thing to the this and that on the... Um, on the uh, compliance, just because you see someone else's post, and I know all of us do it, we copy other people's posts. I know for a fact, everything that's in Look At Us Now is compliant. Any one of those testimonials you can use and not worry about compliance because they're all compliant. Right, mm -hmm. that's a great point. Yeah, and a great tool to use. Yeah, yeah, actually, you know how we've been doing these pop-up calls? We did two pop-up calls on TriMLT. Sean is going to be on one of the calls, too, and he's going to give us some some stuff to use. on. I'm trying to keep up the pressure because we always do a launch and everything explodes for a week, and then it drills off. I'm going to do every single week. We're doing what we did last night with Ellie. We're going to do it with Sean. We're going to do it with... Uh, we're going to do it with Brian Cameron, and then we're going to have a superstar, Alexi, really kind of round it out for us. So it's going to be a really exciting call. Super exciting. All right. Well, we're getting to the final slide here. Guys, you've heard Paul on this call. Obviously, he's been sharing a lot. I want to really give him 
um, some kudos into who he is with this team. He is the leader of the team. He's a multiple seven figure earner here with New You Life. He, uh, this is his first network marketing company. He brings experience from Wall Street in the corporate world, managing a $1.5 billion business. Um, and he came into network marketing and he just excelled here. The company launched November, 2017. He joined December, 2017. He endured all of the growing pains people leaving, um, being the last man standing. He is now expanding into multiple countries. He took Korea onto the map. He put Korea on the map with the company. He's got 25,000 distributors over there. He's always here for us in the US and North America, constantly building with us. He's bringing us into other countries. His knowledge of how to build this is just amazing. And he's the reason I'm here. If it wasn't for Paul uh, sharing new life with me, I met him in 2020. He shared it with me in 2022. I finally started building in 2023 because of what I saw him doing here. Um, and because of course of the products, uh, Lexi, the company, seeing you guys go to Costa Rica, watching you with, with the you care, all of that, that was all encompassing and why I'm here, but it's really Paul and the expertise and the leadership that he brings here, being able to lock arms with somebody who can actually take you to where you want to go and actually cares about it is very different than locking arms with the leader in network marketing that is just for themselves to build their own paycheck and you're just coming along for the ride because they're all about themselves. It's very different here. So Paul's going to share with us guys our five over five. And this is our daily method of operation. If you're like, I don't know what to do every single day. I don't know how to build this. Paul's going to explain to you in five very simple steps what you need to be doing every single day to make sure you're touching your business and moving it forward and getting to the success in a very boring way, but we get there. <laughs> so go ahead, Paul. I just can't get over. You said I have cooties. Did you say cooties or kudos? Yeah, you have cooties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. And it was a great introduction. I really appreciate it. And you can tell I get a little, you know, whatever. But so here's the deal, guys. What I'm going to teach you right now, I've been teaching for over two and a half years, maybe three years, and nobody's still doing it yet. And you're still wondering why you're not growing and everything else. So here's what I want you to do right now. While I'm talking, I need you to go into Facebook. I need you to connect with five random people. And the way you're going to connect with five random people right now is, here's another thing I'm seeing that's like, I see some of you commenting on people who quit the company and you're commenting and you give them congratulations and you're doing all this other stuff. What are you doing for you? What do you do? Why are you spending time with someone who's going to try to steal your people because they moved on to another company and you're not meeting someone brand new? You're spending that time, right? Doing that. And even liking my stuff. I love that you like my stuff. I could live with happy birthday right? And, and, and a couple of hearts here and there, but I can't bring you any more business. I can coach you. I could train you. I can give you everything I got, but I can't bring you a distributor. You have to find them. We'll close them for you. We'll train them for you. We'll make sure they're successful. I need you now. And it may take 20 people, but stop what you're doing right now. Go into social media, whether it's Instagram or whatever, and connect with five people. Now, what does five people connecting means? It means they said yes. Thank you, Donna. And I, I, I've i seen Donna work. Donna and I drove. Um, she feels I drive extremely slow. It took us too long to get to where we have to go because 95 miles an hour is just not fast enough for her. But she was constantly on the phone. She's constantly working. In fact, to the point where she didn't even know I was driving that fast because she was working, right? Well, it's reflected success leave clues. So make sure that you are doing this every single day. Now, you want five people to actually say yes. That means you may have to friend request 20 people today because only five will get back to you and accept that friend request, right? Now, some of the 20 you did today may get back to you and accept that friend request tomorrow, a week from now, or a year from now. You could use that towards your account. But if you did that five, somebody get a calculator out, five people, five new connections a day, you should be able to wipe out 90% of your new you life contacts on your Facebook page and have that with all new people. We love Peg. Peg's already in. You're never going to get her. She's already in, right? You're never going to get Paul Capozio because he's already in, right? Everyone on this thing is already in. We love that you support us. We love that you like our stuff. But you need the space on your social media for people you don't know. Cold market. 
You need to start reaching out to these people. You need to be visible to them. If you keep keeping around in the same circle, the algorithm is going to keep you in the same circle. You need to start expanding out. Okay? Leave the nest, folks. Leave the nest. Make those five new connections. Delete five new connections. Everybody knows I'm maxed out. On, I'm always maxed out or maybe have three or four room on my regular Facebook page and I'm transitioning over to my business page, right? I'm going to try to come back and teach you how to build with a business page because I don't know how to do it because I don't know people could just like like you or friend you or whatever. I don't know what the hell. It, I, I'm still learning that part of it. But you got to start dropping people, folks. And if you got somebody on there that you think is a great leader and you haven't been able to talk to them in five years and you've been following this person and you never started a conversation in three years, four years, five years, either do it or get them out and put somebody else in there. Five new connections every single day at a minimum. That will bring you to five new conversations every day. You don't understand conversations. Conversations are, hey, how's it going? Thanks for liking my friend request. It's not, oh my God, you got to try a new product, try MLT, and here's my link, and you could go on right now and buy together. I, you know what I do when people do that to me? I go back and say, how is this working for you? Have you even researched who I am, right? Because I could appreciate somebody say, hey, Paul, I know you're with a company and I know you're rather successful there and everything, but do you ever look at other opportunities? And I could appreciate that versus just send somebody sending me their link because I know they know nothing about me. And I'm going to say, look, I know this isn't working. I go bold and say, I know this is not working for you. I don't care what your upline told you. This is not working for you. I could show you, if you get on a Friday noon Zoom call with myself and Dr. Doug Firebaugh and Angel Chandler and Alan Newell and all of these people that are on there, we could show you how to really do this. I love when people approach me the wrong way. I see it as an opportunity to make a new friend. They may get insulted. Well, guess what? That's teaching you somebody you can't work with. So five new conversations every single day. And that conversation may have to be a quick snippet for 30, 60, 90, 120 days. One of our distributors in the Philippines, a gentleman by the name of Leopoldo, started conversations with him over a year and a half ago. Did I lose sleep over this guy? Did I contact him? Did I see if he do a post? I liked it, yeah. Helped lost a country. You're just... You, you either network marketers either go too fast or you go too slow and it's right in the middle and you're maintaining all of these conversations like a juggler and you're keeping all those balls in the air until one is ready to go you ever see the one that you know the guy but he bites an apple he's juggling apples and he takes a bite out of one takes a bite out of the other right you got to wait till these apples get ripe before you take a bite of them but you got to keep juggling them in the air five new exposures a day i've already sent out five videos today Okay, Angel, you got to check the uh, the Vancouver chat. It's blowing up. Okay, um, so the 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 five new exposures every single day. Danny is an absolute expert at this. Danny's got more videos out than I think anybody on this call, and it's working for him. Right? He's not getting any special treatment or anything. He's just doing what has to be done. Right. He's sending out videos. He's not doing anything creative. 28 years in the business, guess what he's doing? He's using the app that's given to us for free because we pay $59 a year. He's doing exactly what he's telling you to do. Nobody lied. Every great leader will give you all their secrets. Every great leader will tell you every single thing to do and what their secrets are. Because the problem is the your secrets are safe in front of everybody because most people won't pick up and use them. Five follow-ups every day. If you don't make five new connections every day, leading to five new conversations, and you're in 30 to 60 to 100 conversations, go through your messenger and see how many conversations you've started. Go and, and, and replenish them. Give them some water. Give them some fertilizer. Keep those going. You should be scrolling through whatever your system is, scrolling through and keeping the conversations going until they turn to an exposure. If you're sending someone a video, without them knowing it's coming, or you asking, do you mind if I send you a video, or you, you're sending it too soon? If you're not in a conversation when that person says something like, I think I want to take a look at what you do, or that product looks interesting, or what's that thing you did that made you lose the weight, or how do you have so much energy playing pickleball? That are the clues. A, a phone number is not a lead. A prospect is somebody you think might be good for you. I'm going to be talking to this top leader 
on Monday morning at nine o'clock. He is a prospect to me. He's not a lead because he said, I want to talk to you. When he says, I want to talk to you about new you life and see what's going on over there, then he becomes a lead. Right now, he's a prospect, someone that I identified that I would like to have in my business. And I got to figure out if I could get that to happen. When the person says, I want to learn more exactly about what you're doing, or I want to learn about that product, then and only then are they a lead. Everything else, you're just kidding yourself. So what are you going to do to get that person to be attracted or to ask the question, hey, you know, what is it that you're doing? What are you doing in your messaging, in your conversations and are your exposures and your follow-ups that are going to make people say, hey, you know what? That's something I think I want to take a look at. Or what is it? Curiosity. And then you'll be collecting five decisions a day. How many of you have five people out there that you're waiting for a decision from? Yes or no to new you life. And only did you do it only correctly? Five? What's that, Danny? I said only five? Well, I'm just saying, how many yeah, of you yeah. have five? No, I know what you do, but Danny, yeah. success leaves clues. I mean, you're the perfect example of five over five. Perfect example, right? Um, the, the point that people think you're getting leads from the company, they think you it's all bullshit. He's doing what needs to be done. He's making new connections. Dude, the guy we did, Dave, I mean, he didn't work out, but the guy in the UK, right? He came in, signed up. All right, he's not doing anything, but how did you meet him? He wasn't somebody you knew for 30 years. You knew of him. Yeah. I right? basically, he reached out to me from a, a group that I'm in. And it's kind of odd that he reached out to me asking me a question about another company. I gave him my truth about it. And that's how we started our conversation. And there you go. So so it's not it's it's not a matter of this. It's conversations. We had a conversation. He asked me about this other company. Start getting involved with conversations will lead to exposures. He spoke to the guy. Let me send you a video of what I'm doing, what I'm excited about. The guy saw the video. He followed up with him. Are you ready to get started? Yes. And he collected a decision. Okay. And still with all of that done perfectly, right, the guy flaked out. So you got to understand that even when it's over, it's not over. Th that's what, go, go ahead, Danny. And then I want to, yeah, end I just want to add something. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but no, go ahead. you have, when you, when you communicate with somebody, whether, and when you start getting involved in, you know, what, what, what you're doing, you almost got to like take it away from them. Like, you know, you really don't care if they want to get in. And I, and I try to paraphrase this in the words, but I always put at the end of everything, if you, if you're not interested, that's okay. Or if it's not for you, that's okay. Because if, if, if you're blowing up on them and, you know, and you're constantly in their, you know, in their messenger every day, here's what they're going to think. God, this must be the only guy that Danny has uh, the prospect. So it's important just to um, take it away from them. I'll give you a technique I least used to teach my salespeople when I was working in the city. And I would always go to an appointment. I'd had my notebook open. We used to have these things called day planners. These were these fat calendar books. I don't know if you remember the day planners. They were leather bound. They had all your things inside there. And I used to take my pen out. I used to put my pen on the guy's desk. I'd open up my day planner and I'd start the conversation. It was just a typical cold call sales call. If the guy was giving me a hard time and he wouldn't let me break through, he didn't want to listen, he was combative and everything, I would literally, without saying anything, I'd pick up my pen, I'd put it back in the day planner, I'd zip up my day planner, and then I'd continue the conversation. That was a take it away technique. It was very subtle, but I'd pick my pen up, make sure he saw it, put it in the slot, zip it up and done, because I'm saying, okay, well, you know, that, or there's another technique. Hey, I could see we're going to kind of get off on the wrong foot here. I need you to help me out. Is this absolutely, was I forced down your throat or something? Or tell me how we got to this point, because I don't want you uncomfortable. Because what I'm, what I'm doing here is valuable. I help tons of companies all over. FedEx is my customer. Merch Shipping Lines is my customer. And I'm here in this bakery in Newark, right? Getting flour all over my suit, right? To talk to you. So tell me how I can help you. Well, I heard you guys save money for this. Okay, great. Let's start there. You know, because sometimes you have to push back a little bit or ask them for help when they're giving you a hard time. Say, listen, I, I know you're interested and it seems like you're getting a little, you know, a, like, like a little combative or a little edgy with me here. And I don't want to make you uncomfortable. So if this is not for you, I just don't see how you can make that evaluation if I don't even get a chance to explain to you what I'm doing. So if you don't know what I'm doing and if you don't know what this is all about, it's hard to make a judgment call. Or maybe I just caught you at a really bad time. Now, if it was more than 20 minutes away from my office, I was doing that sit because I wasn't going to drive back again when this guy found time. So you have to learn how to utilize your time well 
when you're dealing with someone. And, and by the way, in this business, it's so beautiful because there's thousands, hundreds of, there's millions of people on Facebook. You know, there's millions of people. The, the, the prospecting is so huge. And you could deal with people in other countries, you know, and don't get all sidetracked because people are building another country. So now you're going to find somebody. You need the right people. You can't build in another country without a leader that's there who's going to run the game for you and knows what they're doing. It's not that easy. You can't just get a housewife, you know, in Brazil and you're going to turn her into the super network marketer. It just doesn't happen that way. Maybe they could introduce you to one. So focus on your game plan. Don't take your eye off the ball. Do your five connections every day. And if you do that for 30 days, you got a ton of people to work with. If you don't have someone to call today and collect a decision from, you haven't been doing the work for 30 days ago. Everyone should have five people, right? God, I don't even know how many people right now that are, that are waiting and I figure out where they are in the process. And when you get enough of them that you don't follow up, like Danny's got 25 or whatever he said, or whatever he said, you know, whatever he's got that he's working on, right? You tend to not hound them. And all of a sudden, they're wondering, like, wow, something's got to be going on over there. Because Danny told me two days ago that we had this thing going on. He's putting on these people. He's got this thing going in India, all this other stuff. And he's not calling me back. Let me see what's going on over there. Because normally, when a network marketer tries to get their claws into me, they're relentless and they never stop it. He said, you got to join it. Just take a spot. And I know you don't understand it, but just take a spot and just take a spot and just take a spot. Versus, hey, I'm sorry, man, I didn't get back to you. It's just we're really, really moving qu quickly here and... And I just had to do a couple of calls and I was up at five this morning. You know, my team from the Philippines called me. This is the true story. Team from the Philippines called. My phone's ringing. I sleep with my phone under my chest in bed. Okay. The phone starts going. I look at it. I'm like, oh, hey, our call's not for two hours yet. No, I know, but we're out to dinner and the team wants to see you. And I'm like, give me two minutes. I literally washed my face, put a hat on, got in there and did that call. Right. So, if you're not, re this is all from a guy a year and a half ago, we started dancing on Facebook. You know, he ba barely speaks English too, by the way, barely speaks English, but he was in the, with another network marketing company. You have to, if you're going after builders in other companies, you've got to be willing to invest some time to let them come around to whatever event happens in their life that's going to make them ready. You have to be the one they're going to call when they're ready to make a change. If you call them and try to change their minds, right? The worst time to try to, to, to pitch somebody is when they come back from their convention. They're all fired up. They saw the new products. There's somebody, let somebody, would try MLT launch right now. Try to recruit somebody away from New Life. Even someone who's not doing well. Try to recruit them away from New Life when you got a product launch. So timing is everything. So if somebody from New You Life called me and I happen to be in another company, I'd listen to why they're so excited about Try MLT. And I'd listen to see what they had to say, what they knew about the product. And I'd learn about them as a distributor to see where their strengths are and where their weaknesses are, to see if that's somebody I would even want in my team, right? Fortunately, we have very powerful products that anyone can do well. All right. I, I feel like I'm going off the track. I think some of my best stuff was said earlier in the morning. Uh, we're going to let you guys go. We went an hour and a half. That's way too long. Diane, thank you so much. Donna, great job. Peg Tucker is always. Lynn Laporte, Nancy, guys, I really appreciate you guys um, joining us, joining the team. I want the new voices. I want everyone to have a voice. I want everyone to be able to succeed. Angel, I'll let you close out. For sure. I hope everybody took Paul's advice and did the five connections while he was talking. I I accepted like probably about 100 people as friend requests and now my messenger is blowing up, right? Those are all connections. You can weed them out. You don't have to be like overly thinking somebody connecting with you. Send them a message, find out where they're from. They may be a network marketer in a different country and you can make that connection, right? So don't overthink it. Just accept it, have a conversation and then block them. I just blocked one. <laughs> that I needed to block. So we love you guys so much. And um, this year is just full of power. Um, I think the reason this call went so long is because we all have such an incredible energy that we're bringing to this. And it's an excitement and and a new thing that we're doing. The Tri MLT came out. Um, we're probably all tired because we've been talking to so many people. 
and it's just fun. And this is incredible. So thank you all for contributing again. Yeah. Like Paul said, if there's anything, anybody who wants to contribute, let us know. Um, we're more than happy to hand over anything. So love you guys. Have an incredible weekend. Go out and work your business. Bye, we'll guys. see you. Bye. Bye. Thank you guys. Who's going to be our next coach? <laughs>